The MC businesses have gone through some massive changes over the years, from payout increases for all players to lots of new ways to earn money. But are they still good? Unlike every other business in the game where you can only own one property, the MC businesses allow you to own a total of five different businesses at once. So what are they? There is the document forgery office, the counterfeit cash factory, then the green stuff, then the blue stuff that Walter White makes and finally there is the white stuff. All you need to know is that these are all some type of drug and each business creates and sells them. And in order to begin buying and setting up these businesses, you do actually need to own a totally separate business, the MC Clubhouse. To do this, go to the Maze Bank Foreclosures website, then filter the options to Clubhouse only. You're going to see 12 different locations, ranging from $200,000 up to $500,000. However, the good thing about the location is that it doesn't really matter in terms of just the MC businesses. But if you're looking to make more money with the clubhouse, then a city location will help you massively. When it comes to the upgrades, the only one you should buy is the custom bike shop which costs $530,000. Before buying this, let me explain how it earns you money inside the clubhouse. So there are three different ways to earn money. The customer deliveries, clubhouse contracts, and lastly, the clubhouse bar. The customer deliveries can only be started through the custom bike shop upgrade. So how do they work? Every 30 minutes to an hour, a customer will drop off their bike inside your clubhouse. You can decide to modify it and deliver it back to them for some very easy money. How much money? When you begin customizing the bike, you will see certain requirements from the customer that they want on their bike. This will cost you $10,000 to do and every delivery you make earns you $60,000, meaning a very easy $50,000 profit. But there is a way to get more money. You may receive bonuses depending depending on how you customize the bike. Remember those requirements? Well, if you ignore them and simply do your own thing, the customer is either going to love what you did and give you a bonus, or they will hate what you did, deducting your earnings from either $2,500 up to $5,000. Inside your clubhouse, there is a bar. This can earn you some money, as long as you keep resupplying it. To do that, start a supply mission from the bar. This will send you out to collect a van full of supplies, and if you deliver it back with minimal damage, the bar will make you $5,000 per day passively, only if you keep it supplied. These resupply missions will keep your bar full for four in-game days, making you $25,000. When it is empty, you will need to complete another mission. And to collect your earnings, go to this duffel bag inside your office, which holds a maximum of $100,000. If you want some easy pocket money, then this can be worth doing every once in a while, but the amount really isn't worth it. Your clubhouse has contracts. These are basically VIP jobs, but they pay a little bit more. So how do you start them? Head over to this board inside your clubhouse. There will always be three random contracts at a time for you to start. And with there being 13 different contracts, eight of them can be done solo. And if you want to make these worth your time, only ever do the life and death bikes contract as it pays $37,000 for only five minutes of work. The rest of the contracts aren't worth doing but if you're looking for a fun and easy way to make some quick cash, then try them out. Anyway, that is enough said about the clubhouse. It's time to get into the big books, the MC businesses. Like I said, there are five different ones that you can purchase. Each business has a choice of four different locations and they can be purchased from this computer inside your clubhouse. The locations don't really matter. So to save you some money, go for the cheapest ones if you want to. How do these work and which ones should you buy? Because not all of them are actually worth it. Basically, these work just like any other business. As long as you're bringing in the supplies, your staff will use them to make stock so that you can sell. So, how do I get the supplies? You can either buy them for $75,000 or steal them. This wastes a lot of time, with each steal mission taking 10 minutes to do. So, always buy them. Just like every other business in the game, if you want to make more money, you need to be buying the staff and equipment upgrades. The security upgrade is a waste of money, so don't buy that. So, how much money do these businesses make? Starting with the document forgery office, this will cost you $650,000 
$1,000 for the cheapest one. And with both upgrades, that will cost an extra $745,000, totaling $1.4 million spent on the business. To get full stock, the resupply cost will be $90,000, which will sell for $157,000, giving you a profit of $67,500, taking three hours to produce, meaning you earn $22,500 profit per hour. This business is a huge waste of time and money, therefore you should not buy it. The green stuff will cost you $715,000 for the cheapest one, and with both upgrades that will cost an extra $1.263 million, totaling just under $2 million spent on this business. To get full stock, the resupply cost will be $150,000, which will sell for $315,000, giving you a profit of $165,000. However, this this takes five and a half hours to produce, meaning you earn $30,000 profit per hour. Again, do not buy this business. The counterfeit cash factory will cost you $845,000 for the cheapest location, and with both upgrades, that will come to an extra $1.15 million, totaling, again, just under $2 million for this business. The full resupply cost will be $150,000 and will sell for $367,000, which gives you a profit of $217,000, taking five and a half hours to produce, meaning you earn $30,000. $39,000 profit per hour which is much better than the others. The blue stuff will cost $910,000 for the cheapest location, and with both upgrades, this will cost you $1.43 million, bringing the total cost to $2.3 million, making it the most expensive business. To fully resupply it, you will spend $165,000, and this sells for $446,000, giving you a profit of $281,000, which takes six hours to produce, meaning you earn $46,000 profit per hour. And finally, the white stuff. The cheapest location will cost you $975,000 and both upgrades will cost an extra $1.3 million, meaning the full cost will be $2.3 million for this business. To fully fill up this business, the resupply cost will be $165,000, which sells for $525,000, giving you a profit of $360,000, which only takes five hours to produce. So you earn $72,000 profit per hour, making this the best MC business. So, which ones should you buy out of the five? If it wasn't already obvious, you should only be buying the white lockup, then the blue lab, and finally the counterfeit cash factory. Every other business you can ignore. That was a lot of numbers, but what about the sell missions? All of these businesses have different types of selling missions. You can get the planes, the buzzards, the boats, the garbage trucks, or everyone's favorite, the post op vans. These types of missions will always spawn four vehicles with five drops each when selling a full business but they will now have a 45 minute timer when selling as a solo player, which does make certain missions possible, except for poor stop vans, which can still not be completed within the time limit. However, there are better sell missions that you can get, such as the bike drop missions, which only require one drop off per bike, or you can get extremely lucky and receive the single truck mission, which you will only ever get for the green business, the white stuff and the cash factory businesses. The main thing to know is that for every one and a half bar of stock, you will get one vehicle. And even with the time limits being increased to 45 minutes for solo players, it can still be very risky to sell a full business solo. It just depends on the type of mission that you get, because some of them can easily be done as a solo player, especially these single drop-offs. And others, such as the poor stops, cannot be done. But with all that being said, that is everything you need need to know about the MC businesses. And although they do have their downsides, some of them can make you some pretty simple passive income. However, do I recommend buying them? Obviously, if you have the money and you want to earn some extra passive income, definitely buy them. And as well, if you own the nightclub, you will only ever need the core clock up, 
the cash factory and the blue lab if you want to make the most amount of money from the nightclub's warehouse. So if you're looking to make the most money from passive income with the nightclub and the businesses themselves, only buy those free businesses. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe and check out another guide that are on screen now and I'll see you all in the next one.